there! Now before we jump into the video, I have a very important question for you. Have you subscribed to our channel? If not, then subscribe right now to stay updated with the latest and brand new Scalia.com lectures. And click on the bell icon to stay notified about new releases. We upload a full lecture every single week with some short videos sprinkled in between. So that being said, now that you've subscribed, let's return to the lecture. Hi guys. So I'm pretty sure you're all wondering, what exactly is opsonization anyway? Well, opsonization is an important process in host defense by which particles or complexes are made readily ingestible for uptake by phagocytic cells. Specific serum proteins, known as opsonins, coat particles and cause the particles to bind avidly to phagocytes and trigger ingestion. For each type of opsonin, there is an opsonin-specific membrane receptor on phagocytes responsible for binding particles coated with that opsonin. The antigen-antibody complex is eventually scavenged and degraded by macrophages. Antibodies coating an antigen render it recognizable as foreign by phagocytes, which are macrophages and neutrophils. Binding of an antibody is not sufficient itself to arrest the multiplication of bacteria that divides outside the cell. The complement components known to be involved in opsonization are C1Q, C4B, C3B, IC3B, C3DG, and C3D. Bound C3-derived fragments are the most important opsonins generated upon complement activation by either the classical or the alternative pathway. Activation of either pathway results in the formation of a C3 convertase that cleaves C3. The major cleavage product of C3, C3B, binds covalently to the particle itself. So this was all about opsonization. For more detailed lectures, keep watching scadia.com.